so today I'm um, well, we are me and Mia we're going shopping uh, they have no back rider policy in Dumaguete now and I think the whole of Philippines unless you have like a plastic thing between you and the back rider which is fucking ridiculous even for living partners and uh, married couples it's, that's the thing with living in a third world country man they have these stupid rules and you gotta have acceptance <laughs> but anyway so we're borrowed luckily my neighbor he has a car and he lets us borrow it or a pickup and so we're going shopping at Hypermart and I thought I would film in Hypermart because I've had questions about prices about different products and all that here and I thought I'd go through Hypermart to see what uh, the supermarket looks like here in Dumaguete and we could uh, look at different prices for different things compared to the states I don't really remember the prices in the states or I don't know the prices in Australia or England but you guys would know the prices here especially for uh, Wesley products products from the West which are typically more expensive here almost always more expensive here by anywhere between 20 and 50 percent than in the West so so enjoy the video and if you like it please uh, subscribe like, comment, and share. Thanks, man. So, so this is what they call Hypermarch. And they even have a pharmacy here. And this is how it looks like on the outside. So we're gonna go in. Now we have to stand in line. And they do temperature check. And we have to write where we are from and everything so so right now they're writing people's telephone numbers and taking temperature and the reason they do that in case there's an outbreak they can track and also have to show your pass here so I'll film after I go past the guards So now I'm past the guards and here is the pharmacy. There's also a sports warehouse in there and some liquor, coffee shops and restaurants down there and then we go in here. So this is how it looks like. Here they have different items for sale. Let's see. This is just as an example, some type of mixer. Uh, looks like the American one. I don't know the name of it. It's Twenty-two thousand pesos. That's four hundred and forty dollars for this. Four hundred and forty. And let's see what else coffee maker here this is one seven so that's thirty four dollars um, what else they have rice cookers microwaves everything so let's see fans are important here and fans vary from about ten bucks to about thirty dollars that's the one I have, this one here, and it's 1555 so 30, $31 for that. And they have plastic chairs over there, more stuff here, pillowcases, sheets, and more. And even uh, beds, they have beds here. 20% off now this one here is $45 for this thin one five-year warranty $45 this one is uh, 60 
70 75 dollars for this so yeah that's kind of expensive you can order pretty nice ones in the u.s for a lot cheaper plasticware over here and i think most people are mostly interested in food because that's what we eat a lot of and i'll start with um just baking soda as an example this baking soda here is 70.5 that's about a dollar and a half 1.5 us dollars and then let's go here uh, pineapple chunkies about 47 peso around one dollar the big one is about a dollar and 20 cents cream stuff here is about a dollar and ten cents coffee my favorite this is nine dollars for 500 grams that's about one pound and here's another one that's about um, half a pound for almost six dollars yeah five and a half dollars different types of coffee they also have let's see here mostly this one mostly 285 that's five and a half dollars I find that kind of really expensive so some things here are really expensive compared to the US cornflakes for a small one is no price at least they have it still no price and that's another thing sometimes there's no prices and you have to ask and take some forever to find out here's some peanut butter they don't have skippy but they do have planters and that's 200 so that's four dollars for this little peanut butter jar so again much more expensive than the US um, we have what's this ranch dressing that's um, five dollars and a few cents for 34 ounces What else is there here anything interesting oh look they have pancakes here that's a dollar for those tea I love tea and uh, like a peppermint tea here like this one is you know, four dollars and twenty cents and how many tea bags twenty tea bags that's not bad really and let's see do they have lipton here no lipton i don't like lipton but you know that's what you can compare it to oh yeah lipton yellow label uh lipton yellow label for this one is 50 tea bags three dollars and 20 cents so what else uh, i wanted to see honey of course they have diapers and all that but I'm not getting into that I assume none of you are coming here with uh, pregnant wives and let's see uh, beans baked beans a dollar and twenty uh, kidney beans dollar ten see what else green peas about a dollar so chickpeas about a dollar per can that's that's prices are okay but beans are cheap they also have dry beans here so that's what i prefer it makes it cheaper and keeps it fresh so what else what else i think they have oh yeah olive oil uh you might recognize some of these brands here this one is 500 milliliters and it's 281 pesos so roughly five and a half dollars 
again I think it's cheaper in the US but to be honest I don't recall the prices anymore I wanted to see the uh, price of honey and compare it so here is honey believe me a lot of it is fake and this one is three dollars looks real I think I've had this before and I think it's fake but I'm not sure I bought so much fake honey here it's unbelievable but anyway this is this is it and then they have this one Subi you recognize that from the US that's uh, seven dollars for this little one and that's real honey this one from Kamigan adventure to say no but who knows 